the moon time to warm up i'm the moon shining bright surrounded by stars barely noticed at night sometimes new sometimes old et never apart the original mold not always seen et always here i have learned to let it go i will shed no tear time to know the moon has many many different names it is called luna by the romans selene and artemis by the greeks and many other names in the other mythologies the moon is the earth's only natural satellite it is the second brightest object in the sky after the sun the moon is our nearest neighbor in space that is why it appears so big from the earth it is about 3 lakhs 84000 kilometers away the moon is a lifeless place it has no air or water its surface is covered with rocks and dust there are tall mountains and flat plains on the moon there are also large round ditches called craters some of the craters are hundreds of kilometers wide movements of the moon the moon moves around the earth in an approximately circular orbit going once around us in approximately 27.3 days or one sidereal period of revolution as it does its position changes relative to the stars since there are 360 degrees in a circle a moon moves on the average 360 by 27.3 or 13.2 degrees per day relative to the stars which is just over half a degree per hour and approximately equal to its apparent size this means that from night to night moon moves a little more than one hand width to the east the directions of its motion around the earth relative to the stars and from hour to hour it moves about one diameter to the east among the stars an approximate representation of the motion of the moon around the earth moving once around in 27.3 days its average movement is about 13.2 degrees per day or 92 degrees per week as is usual in such diagrams the size of the earth and moon are exaggerated in comparison to their separation the apparent motion of the moon from night to night each night it moves about 13 degrees or about 26 diameters to the east faces of the moon the moon orbits earth at an average distance of 3 lakh 82400 kilometers the lunar month is the 29.53 days it takes to go from one new moon to the next during the lunar month the moon goes through all its phases just like the earth half of the moon is lit by the sun while the other half is in darkness the phases we see result from the angle of the moon makes with the sun as viewed from earth the diagram below on the right is one you typically see in books don't let it confuse you the images of the moon show what you see the moon look like from earth when it is at given points in its orbit it does not show which side of the moon is lit by the sun the side lit by the sun is always the side that is pointed towards the sun as seen in the diagram below on the left moon earth sun 
as viewed from above our solar system. The moon as seen from earth. We only see the moon because sunlight reflects back to us from its surface. During the course of a month, the moon circles once around the earth. If we could magically look down on our solar system, we would see that the half of the moon facing the sun is always lit. But the lit side does not always face the earth. As the moon circles the earth, the amount of the lit side we see changes. These changes are known as the phases of the moon and it repeats in a certain way over and over. At new moon, the moon is lined up between the earth and the sun. We see the side of the moon that is not being lit by the sun. In other words, we see no moon at all because the brightness of the sun outshines the dim moon. When the moon is exactly lined up with the sun as viewed from earth, we experience an eclipse. As the moon moves eastward away from the sun in the sky, we see a bit more of the sunlight side of the moon each night. A few days after new moon, we see a thin crest in the western evening sky. The crescent moon waxes or appears to grow fatter each night. When half of the moon's disk is illuminated, we call it the first quarter moon. This name comes from the fact that the moon is now one quarter of the way through the lunar month. From Earth, we are now looking at the sunlit side of the moon from off to the side. The moon continues to wax. Once more, then half of the disk is illuminated. It has a shape we call gibbous. The gibbous moon appears to grow fatter each night until we see the full sunlit face of the moon. We call this phase the full moon. It rises almost exactly as the sun sets and sets just as the sun rises the next day. The moon has now completed one half of the lunar month. During the second half of the lunar month, the moon grows thinner each night. We call this warning. This shape is still gibbous at this point, but grows a little thinner each night. As it reaches the three-quarter point in its month, the moon once again shows us one side of its disk illuminated and the other side in darkness. However, the side that we saw dark at the first quarter phase is now the As it completes its journey and approaches new moon again, the moon is a warning crescent. Conditions on the moon There is no life on the moon. It does not have any water and its surface is covered with a layer of dust. It has mountains and huge round pits called craters on its surface. The mountains and craters can be seen from the earth through a telescope. There is no atmosphere surrounding the moon. So there are no winds, no clouds and no rain. On the earth, the atmosphere absorbs a part of sunlight so it does not become so hot during the day. But on the moon, as there is no atmosphere, it becomes boiling hot during the day. On the earth, the atmosphere retains heat at night, so it does not become very cold. On the moon, there is no atmosphere to retain heat, so it is freezing cold at night. Exploration of the Moon Yuri Gagarin of Russia was the first human to go into outer space. All this happened in 1961. Eight years later, on July 1969, the American spacecraft Apollo 2 landed on the moon. Neil Armstrong became the first human to step on the moon. Eclipse. What is an eclipse? 
An eclipse occurs when one object in space blocks an observer from seeing another object in space. From Earth, there are two main types of eclipses, solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. Solar eclipse. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes in front of the sun, causing a shadow to fall on certain portions of the Earth. The eclipse is not seen from every place on Earth, but only from the locations where the shadow falls. From these locations, it appears as if the sun has gone. There are three main parts of the moon's shadow during an eclipse called the umbra, penumbra and antumbra. Umbra, the portion of the moon's shadow where the moon completely covers the sun. Antumbra, the area of the shadow beyond the point of the umbra. Here, the moon is completely in front of the sun, but doesn't cover the entire sun. The outline of the sun can be seen around the shadow of the moon. Penumbra, the area of the shadow where only a portion of the moon is in front of the sun. Types of Solar Eclipses Depending on what part of the shadow you are located in, there are three types of eclipses. Total. A total eclipse is where the sun is covered completely by the moon. The portion of the earth that is in the umbra experiences a total eclipse. An annular eclipse is when the moon covers the sun, but the sun can be seen around the edges of the moon. An annular eclipse occurs when the viewer is within the antumbra. Partial. A partial eclipse is when only a portion of the sun is blocked by the moon. It occurs when the observer is within the penumbra. Don't look at a solar eclipse. We should warn you here to never look directly at a solar eclipse. Even though it appears darker, the harmful rays of the sun can still damage your eyes. Lunar Eclipse A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow. Lunar eclipses have the same three phases or types as solar eclipses, including the umbra, total, antumbra, annular, and penumbra, partial. Lunar eclipses can be seen by a much larger area of the Earth than solar eclipses. They also can be viewed without special equipment to protect the eyes. Lunar eclipses are not totally dark. The moon will reflect some sunlight that is refracted by the Earth's atmosphere. The light that is refracted, artificial satellites. Artificial satellites are built by people and launched by rockets into space where they orbit around the Earth. These are some of the things that artificial satellites are used for. Communications, including broadcasting television programs and relaying telephone calls. Global Positioning System, GPS, and Galileo satellites for navigation. Collecting information to help with weather forecasts, scientific surveys of the Earth's surface, map making, spying.